We have an update now on a Target 12 investigation we've been tracking now for months. We broke the news back in March that roughly $38 million in unemployment claims in Rhode Island were fraudulent. Now, more than nine months later, that number has surged to more than $70 million. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor joins us now with the details. The Rhode Island Department of Labor and Training tells us the guardrails to limit unemployment fraud have drastically improved since the start of the pandemic. But we were also told the bad guys haven't stopped trying. Fraudulent unemployment claims have been a constant throughout the pandemic. I think at some points, almost all the claims that were coming in were fraudulent. Right now, we're dealing with people every single week that are trying to file claims fraudulently. Matt Weldon, director of the Rhode Island Department of Labor and Training, tells Target 12 that the state has paid out roughly $70 million in unemployment fraud since the pandemic began. That's out of $3.7 billion paid out in total unemployment benefits. But Weldon also says partnerships with law enforcement and the U.S. Department of Labor have helped. The likelihood of them going through uh, is far less than it was before because of the different mechanisms we have in place. Another big change, federal unemployment benefits ended in September which was where Weldon says the majority of fraud occurred. During the pandemic, we wanted to get benefits out quick, and we were encouraged to do so by the federal government. And Rhode Island led the country in getting benefits out quick. Since those federal benefits ended, Rhode Island has instituted a week-long waiting period for all claims, requiring people to prove their identities. Weldon says that's helped, too. The good work that we've done has positioned us well to protect taxpayers going forward. Tuesday, the U.S. Secret Service said close to $100 billion has been stolen from COVID relief programs nationwide, or roughly 3% of the total dollars dispersed during the pandemic. They said most of that $100 billion comes from unemployment fraud. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Tolly Taylor, 12 News.